welcome back to math class. Today we are going to use place value to add. We've been doing all these different strategies um, and so today we're just going to use place value. Uh, when I was in third grade this is the only way that we learned to add so I didn't have all those other strategies but um, all right let's get started. All right so we're going to start with an easy two digit problem. So we're going to do 39 plus 46. Now, when we use place value to add, it's very important that you line up the ones place and you line up the tens place. And then if you have hundreds, that you line that up too. You don't want your numbers to be written like this, like real sloppy. Because it might make it hard to add, to know which ones you're adding. So we're not going to write it like this. We're going to line up to where if I drew us, put a ruler right there, it would be, um, it would, it would go right in between it. All right, so we're going to start with the ones place. We always start with the ones place when we use place value to add because we might have to regroup. And you don't want to start over here and work your way this way and then have all these extra digits that are in the wrong place. So we always start from the right. We always start in the ones place. All right, so we're going to start with 9 plus 6. Uh, now, that's a fast fact. We know it. If I have to count or draw a picture, I can. But 9 plus 6, that would be 15. Now when we have to regroup, because I've got a number, a digit in the tens place, I'm going to put it right above the tens place, okay, right above the next one over. So I'm going to put my 10 there, that's the 15, and then the ones place here, so 15. And then I'm going to add the tens place. Now 3 plus 1 is 4, and then 4 plus 4, that's a double, so that's easy. So that would be 85. Okay, so 39 plus 46 is 85. All right. Let's go on to another problem. All right, now we're going to start with three-digit problems. So we're going to do 246 plus 175. Okay, so you see how I've lined up my numbers here um, so that the places are all lined up. All right, so we're going to start in the ones. Don't forget, we always start with the ones. So 6 plus 5 is 11. I know that that's a double plus 1. 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 1 more is 11. So I'm going to put my 10's place up there and my 1 there. So there's 11. Now I'm going to do 7 plus 4 plus 1. And I know 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. Remember commutative property. I don't have to add them in, in the order that they are. So that's 12. Now I'm going to regroup over the 100's place because I have a, t uh, a digit in the 10's place. So I'm going to put the one up there and the two there. All right, so now I'm ready to add the hundreds column. So I've got two plus one plus one is four. So 421 is our answer. All right, let's do another one. All right, let's do 324 plus 200. 85. Okay, I'm going to have you pause the video, work this out, and then press play and we'll work it out together. All right, hopefully you press pause, you've worked it out, and you're ready to check it. All right, let's go. All right, starting with the ones place. 5 plus 4, you can say the answer with me. 5 plus 4 is 9. Now there's no regrouping on that one, so I don't have to worry about that. 8 plus 2 is 10. Now I've got to regroup because there's a digit in the tens place, so I'm going to put the 1 up here and the 0 right there. And then 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. Alright, so hopefully you got the, the same answer I did. Alright, let's do another one. Alright, let's do 519 plus 347. Okay, once again, press pause, work it out, and then press play and we'll work it together. Alright, you ready? Here we go. Alright, 9 plus 7 is 16, so I'm going to regroup there. Put my 6 down here, so 16. 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6. And 5 plus 3 is 8. All right, so we're going to do one last one. This will be your ticket into math class tomorrow, so make sure you have this with you when you come to class. 
All right, let's do two hundred fifty eight plus. Five hundred sixty-five. Alright, so that will be your ticket into math class. And remember, the most important thing when you're adding using place value is that you line up your places. That the ones are in a line, that the tens are in a line, and the hundreds are in a line. See you in our next class.